brand new three month old truck broke down on us, left us stranded on the side of the road. Today, I'm gonna to tell you what happened. Eric, my husband, Minuscule, our dog, and I were on a cross-country road trip. We started the trip in South Florida and we were making our way back to LA. We were almost home. We were three hours away in Barstow when the truck broke down. We were on the freeway, Eric was driving, the truck suddenly started slowing down. He tried to hit the accelerator, the car wouldn't speed up so we realized something was wrong. We started making our way to the emergency lane. When we pulled to the side of the highway, Eric tried to put the truck in park but he wasn't able to. When he tried, the truck made a really loud grinding noise so what he did instead is he turned off the truck then he put it in park. After that, he turned it back on, tried to get going, and the truck wasn't going anywhere. At that point, he said, I think it's the transmission. Me, on the other hand, I thought, no way. This is a brand new truck. I've had really junky cars. My very first car was $500. That thing never left me stranded. So with this brand new truck, I'm thinking there's no way. Those thoughts are running through my mind and at the same time, I'm thinking let's just get out of the car, find somewhere safe uh, to just try and figure out what our next move is. Once we got out of the car, Eric called Ford's roadside service. Eric was on the phone with Ford for about 10 minutes when we realized that this was going to be a while. Ford roadside service was not very helpful. They kept putting us on hold and we were standing on the side of the highway. It was like 115 degrees. The sun is blazing. So we decided to try and walk um, towards the nearest exit, but the nearest exit was pretty far. So instead we decided to walk and uh, hang out under the freeway bridge uh, so that we could at least have some shade. After being on the phone with Ford for an hour, they said that they had a tow truck coming and they should be there within the next hour. An hour went by, nothing. We don't hear an update from a tow truck company. And then Ford calls us and tells us, hey, I'm sorry, your tow truck is actually not coming. They just contacted us. They said they had another emergency call that took priority. So now we have to start all over again. A little update. After three hours, tow truck is here. We're gonna head to the Ford dealer. I'm super thirsty. It's so hot out here. When the guy finally got there, when the information was given to him, he was told that um, there was a truck broken down that needed to be towed to the nearest uh, service dealer, but what they didn't tell him is that we were towing a trailer. Did they ever call you back on the trailer? They said they were calling you, but if either I'm going to pay you to take them both or they're going to add it to your work order. They were saying they were calling to you now, but if that doesn't happen, it's not a problem. We're taking them both either way. I live in Los Angeles yeah. and like, they're super unhelpful. Yeah. And like, I can't, you know, I'm not going to spend a $1,000 to tow this thing to Los Angeles. So. Thank you. I mean, nothing about the trailer. I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I do understand, unfortunately, but only big companies like that can survive with such shitty service. Once we got to the service dealer, they were already closed. All right, so. We are all so thirsty from standing on the side of the road for three hours in the blazing heat. There was somebody there that was able to take in the truck. But now the next problem was that we had the trailer. And what the guy was telling us is that he didn't know if we would be able to get a rental car because he wasn't sure if they had any rental cars available. The only solution I have is let's take the trailer here. Because I have no way to pay for it because you're saying you don't have a loaner vehicle equivalent. I've got to drop it off. I'm dropping off on like Apple 50. I'm like, taking Apple 50 or comparable. You're saying you don't have it. I got it. You leave it on the street, you know, it's gonna get stolen. Anywhere your cars are safe, I feel like my trailer's safe. And you have a big property full of cars, so if they're safe, I'm safe, right? And I can put a lock on the hitch and nobody will just come and hitch it up. And I have insurance. So like, and you have insurance. And you have, I don't know, like a million dollars worth of vehicles out here. So I'm not too concerned about the trailer. 
right? I mean, let's be real. Like, you have tons of vehicles here. There's a lot in the backyard. It's full. There's not one space for vehicles. So you're at max capacity at this dealer. Okay, I can only find so many solutions. I need your assistance here. Luckily, our tow truck driver jumped in and he said he could take it to his lot. Once everything was sorted out, when we talked to the service manager, the service manager said that the truck would be ready the following Tuesday because they don't work on the weekends and then he would have his tech inspect the truck on Monday and more than likely we'd have the truck on Tuesday. That is not how things went. Monday comes around, we hear back from the service manager at Ford. He let us know that the transmission was broken and he had already ordered it and um, um, he put a rush order so he would have it in the next few days and that the truck would be ready at the end of the week. Two weeks go by, no truck, trailer is still at the tow yard. The service manager said that they actually also need to replace the transfer case. Three weeks later, the truck is ready and everything was covered under warranty. It is a new truck, it's only three months old. So the transmission and the transfer case, they were both covered and what caused it? We have no idea. We have been towing a trailer. So some people said, oh, maybe it's because you're towing a trailer, but this is a lightweight trailer and the towing capacity of the truck is 8,000 pounds. The dry weight of the trailer is 2,980 pounds. We don't use the bathroom. We don't have any water in the water tanks. So the trailer weighs less than 3,500 pounds. We do know people with the same trailer that tow with the small SUV with lower towing capacity than the truck. So who knows really what happened. Other people mentioned that maybe it's because of the dunes, but again, we don't know what caused it. This is a Baja truck. It's meant to go off-roading. We don't really know what happened, but I'm glad everything was fixed. It is of course disappointing to have a new car and get stranded. Uh, that's not something that you expect from a new car. It does kind of chip away a little bit at your confidence in the truck, but you know, hopefully this is it and we don't encounter any other further problems. Thank you so much for watching.